Hey everybody, Booksy here. In this video we're going to talk about fractal segmenting. Suppose you have a fractal sequence that plays out A, B, and C. Where A leads to B, B leads to C, and C leads back to A. So that you have a sequence that repeats A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, as it iterates on and on. And in this sequence, A is a somewhat neutral move, B is a downward move, and C is an upward move. When you put the sequence together, it appears like this. A, B, C, and this repeats A, B, C, A, B, C. In a default position, the fractal trends upward. However, what if your goal was to see the sequence move from down to a lower region, stay for a time, then move to an upper region? You could do this in one of two ways. The first way is to extend the length of the parts of the fractal sequence, like so. One of the benefits of this may be that you can generate interest in the reversal by creating a pattern, such as a double bottom. However, this pattern has some limitations, in that you may not get a very explosive move C, and it may not allow you to spend an extended period of time in the lower region. If your goal is to maximize the severity of both the downward B move and upward C move while spending the most amount of time in the lower region, you can use the second option, which is fractal segmenting. By segmenting, you remove the final part of the sequence, delaying it until the end. In our example, a sequence gap is created in the first and second iteration, while the third iteration of the fractal is complete. The gap for the first two iterations leaves a marker. This marker can be tracked on a number of levels, but the simplest one is verticality, basically, where did B leave off? This marker is triggered when the sequence returns to the target. Here is what this would look like in motion. In the stock market, this may be used to gain extended periods of accumulation followed by large percentage runs that generate interest and encourage buying. Thank you for watching and learning about fractals with me. 